today I'm going to be taking a look at this, the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition camera. Adorama TV presents Capture the Action with Martin Dory. Hello, I'm Martin Dory and you are watching Adorama TV. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this, the Hero 4 GoPro Black Edition camera. Now, this is GoPro's top of the range, all singing, all dancing, all the knobs and whistles camera. Or is it? Well, I'm pleased to say that it's certainly got all the credentials when it comes to quality and features, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But at first glance, it looks like not much has changed. The camera is the same size as the Hero 3 and the 3 Plus. Um, the screen is slightly larger, but not much. They've changed the way the lights are. Um, the settings button on the side, which used to be the Wi-Fi button, now does both functions and is slightly bigger. But one of the changes that I noticed is that the battery compartment has been redesigned and now feels like it's been better engineered. It feels like they've put a bit more quality into it. And I really like that. So the real changes, or should I say improvements, have been made on the inside. And as they say, seek inner beauty. Now, what am I talking about? We're talking about 4K video shooting capability at 30, 25 and 24 frames, which is something my Hero 3 Plus could never do. It will shoot at 24 frames per second in 4K super view. It will shoot up to 120 frames per second at 1080 resolution and a whopping 240 at 720, which is something, again, that my Hero 3 Plus could never do. Across the board, the shooting options are much improved and there's too many of them for me to mention here. But for the sake of argument, let's just do a few of them. This camera will shoot stills at 12 megapixels, which is a third more than the Session 4. It will take bursts of up to 30 frames per second. It will take time lapses with shots between 0.5 seconds up to 60 seconds. And it will allow you to quick capture with just one press of the shutter. And it will do all the looping and simultaneous photo and video shooting that you'd expect from your GoPro. Oh, and it does night lapse too, which is a feature whereby you can increase the exposure to take night shots, just like you would with your DSLR. And I'll talk about that in future episodes. However, the best thing for me to do at the moment to demonstrate all the features of this camera is to reluctantly hand it over to my children and see what they make of it. And of course, GoPro do say that the menus are easier than ever to understand. Of course it doesn't stop there. As time goes on and software updates and firmware updates come into play, the GoPros are going to give you more and more features and shooting capabilities. And if that enables you to create and capture better footage, then that's fantastic. It's all that matters. So you decide. That's it for now. Thanks for joining me on Adorama TV today. Don't forget for more great hints and tips to go to the Learning Centre. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more videos. Also, please like, comment or share this video. And if you want to know anything, as usual, just get in touch. Do you want 
great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.